Welcome back, everyone, to the keep of Cat's Beard of, uh, I believe it was Tanda? Tanda, yes. Now, we have got some allies that we could go perhaps and introduce ourselves to. Let's actually have a look. Can we recruit from them yet? Uh, we must discover the location of the ally first, but then we would be able to. So the the Greenskins. We don't have any idea if we can recruit from the Dark Elves or the Legendary Humanoid, but we can possibly go there. And if we do, then we would possibly be able to recruit some Ogres. Ogres are super good. Super, super good. But... We have a lot of mana. We've got 300. That is enough to do some really good things. First and foremost, iron working. We're going to continue to develop, uh, to generate mana until we can get the advanced geology. But there is a little bit more iron just over here that we can go and uh, grab. So I think we probably should. Uh, we'll make it into a little bit of a room as ever. Um... I'll make this one into a narrow room and then it'll open up again for no reason other than I, I like having oddly shaped rooms. Um, and then we'll draw this all the way down and connect it up there. There we go. That'll be something at, at some later date. Possibly a ritual room because they're very important later on. Uh, but we don't have enough population to really worry about that sort of thing right now. But because we have worked out iron working, we can now build a forge and a forge would be very very useful so let's get two forges built um i may even go out and build a little bit more over here because generally the manufacturing things you've got the laboratory uh laboratory the jeweler the steel furnace which has become you know comes in later on but uh um i think i'll have two extra forges We'll have those over there, which now means we need to add in some extra flooring because, there we go, so we'll have all of that nicely decorated for us. Uh, we also then need to mm, reduce the areas where we've actually allowing equipment to be stored. Right, so now we've got the forges. This is very, very important for us, very important indeed. Uh, How is everything going back here? And bear in mind, there are lots of hidden compartments. This map is big for a reason. There's going to be hidden lakes. There will even be hidden caves with creatures in them sometimes. But we've now got a forge, and I'm going to slow down speed at this point because we've got enough to learn our next thing. But to the forge we go. We can now make swords, armor, iron helms, boots. These are all really good, but as you can see, they do take a lot. And the forge can also be used to make steel items. Now, steel is crazy good, but it takes an awful lot to get to steel. An awful lot. Steel making is 400 mana. That's an awful lot of mana. But we've just picked up geology, so now we can see some extra iron, some extra stone, lots of extra things just dotted around, even some gold. Eventually, we'll see even more. But the main thing that I did that for so that we can build iron training dummies now they are expensive and initially i'm just going to have four we'll build a bigger training room eventually to accommodate these sorts of things but for now i'm happy enough with this we'll place this down and we will then draw out a little bit more wood around it like so and we'll have wood under the eye there um Sure, I don't necessarily want things going up here and attacking my forge for the time being. In fact, one thing, I, I want things to be stuck in there. But now that we can actually train up a little bit more, I want to go to my keeper and I want to tell him to stop studying. I no longer want you doing that. I want you to get to your highest possible level through training first. Now, so this little room over here, what should we turn this into? This could be all kinds of things. It could even be a little dormitory uh, and I quite like the idea of that actually um, yeah let's make a, a nice little dormitory right in there and we'll dig that up over there uh, we'll add in some beds and cots uh, really why do you cast spells to kill pigs you scoundrels it worries me every time I hear the spells going off I think I'm under attack uh, over here we could possibly connect into that and this little area here is going to be very useful for some side rooms 
Um, this one is going to be a little bit more awkward for me to set up. But sure. Okay, we can... Oh, I think I know. I think I've got an idea for this room. This room can be a torture chamber and a prison. A little prison, a little torture chamber onto the side. Because I want my prisoners to be able to see their eventual fate. It's going to make it a little bit easier to convince them to switch sides or just be slaves or whatever. Maybe I'll stick their heads on pikes just to encourage other people to attack me when I'm strong enough to deal with it. You don't want to be too um, overconfident. Well, in fact, you never want to be overconfident. But you don't want to, you know, bite off more than you can chew early on, is all I'm saying. Because it's very easy to do. And then you just sat there like, why? Why did I? Uh, such a good potential lost. Um, in here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to floor out this whole room. Let's get all of that down there. And we'll give this place a little door, you know, just so they got a bit of privacy in their sleeping quarters. It's fine. There we go. We'll get some more flooring up here as well. And we'll have a bed. Uh, sorry, a, a torch. Right there. And we'll just pop some beds in these little alcoves. I think that will actually end up looking quite nice. So there we go. We've got a, another dormitory ready for when we've actually got the population limit to be able to start putting people in there. And now we can also set this up as well. So there we are. People are starting to reach some decent levels. Let's go and check on our keeper. In fact, I'll speed things up at this point. Uh, our keeper is currently level 9. Got some pretty pretty decent stats there. Uh, oh, the goblin is down here training. That's good. And the nice thing with this is that people will, will make use of the training dummies that they can use. So, for example, my orcs are only ever going to be on the, on the iron training dummies right now. And if, for, uh, at any point, they became completely surrounded by orcs, if I had a low-level minion, they'd be fine just using the wooden training dummies. So that you, I don't like demolishing my old training dummies. Because this allows more people to train at any one time and you can, they can kind of slowly um, gear up to the higher levels of training. That would be an amazing place for one steel training dummy eventually because you don't want to use steel tra training dummies willy-nilly. They're, they're remarkably expensive to make. So, But what's going on here? You're 2.1 from killing all those pigs. Well done, you. Well done. You're not strong enough to wield a sword, though, I fancy, which is a bit of a shame. Let's have a look over here. If any of you... Yeah, we go. We've got more of them now with good weapons, up to 31s and 28s and all that kind of good stuff. Keeper is doing really well at level 10. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Not quite super fast, though, which is a little bit of a concern. Now, are we being... No, we're all to save, and we're not being attacked. I'm frankly a little bit surprised that we haven't been attacked yet. Let's go ahead and have a look at who is triggered. It's still only the main villains. Hmm. A little bit surprised by that. I must confess, a little bit surprised. But we've got plenty of iron now, so we can actually look to make a couple of things. So, for example... I would really like it if we made a bunch of iron helms. Let's go ahead and make 10 iron helms. It's going to take a good lot of our iron to make. Um, I would also... Uh, should we go for the chain armor? I mean, this is going to... It's going to be more than we can afford. Uh, I'll change it to 5 and I'll let the, the 5 best grab that. And additionally, I'll make five iron boots as well. There we go. So that's all of my iron is going to be used up now. I built the things I really needed first, though, which is, which, uh, you know, the, the, the thing to be sure of. There's also some more iron around the map as well when we want it. Um, in fact, I could connect up to that now and then maybe even make a couple more iron shirts. But once we've actually got people wearing the iron helms and the like, that'll actually get really, really good. Now, I can force people to equip things and force people to unequip things specifically. So, for exa um, example, I saw one of the mages grab that hat. That's fine. I'm making enough that all of my humanoids can wear an iron helm. However... With the chess pieces, if one of the mages grabbed that, it'd be like, nah, unless you're the one that I'm going to be sending out, then I don't want you to have have that, unfortunately. Uh, really? Sure, you know what? I don't mind this. I kind of like it, in fact. A view out over a stagnant cave lake. It'll just add to the ambiance of the prison. Yes. Marvellous. 
That'll be about the only time you'll ever hear me being thankful for water just spontaneously appearing in my grand designed chambers. Um, we'll take that out a little bit as well. There we go. Uh, I think what I'll do over here is I'll pop in a torch or two. Oh, there we are. We are actually being attacked by the humans. This is not great. Where are they? Okay, we've got one down here. Now look at their stats. 42 attack, 36 defense. The only way we're going to win this is by cheating. Well, it's not really cheating, per se. But we're going to try and kill them all on my traps. I mean, if, as long as I can stun people, then we'll be in, in a good position. But this is not great. We're going to go at slow speed. They've got some archers. Now, even the archers have got decent defense. There's a lot of them. Oh, dear goodness, there's a lot of them. This... Oh, my lord. This may actually be the end of us. We have been too evil, and we haven't built up fast enough. All right, they're breaking through. They're going to start tripping the traps and getting heavily poisoned. That's why they're kind of milling around right now. They're not trying to move forward because they took so much damage. Hopefully, they're going to go through the webbing, get all kinds of messed up. We have no boulder traps. See, this unfortunate is where the boulder traps would really be the thing we needed. Um, I should have made a beeline for that, but I might still have enough time. There's a lot of stuff they need to work through. Uh, it's unlikely, but I'm not going to give up. Let's set that room up there. All right. We need my minions down there right now. Master sorcery is way too far away, unfortunately. And there's a lot of things we're not going to get to. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. Has oh, what just died? An imp is killed by an archer. Where are you, scoundrel? You let's have a look. Is my keeper at level 12? Yes, decent stats and a lot of spells. All of these spells, magic shield makes him impervious to, to most damage for a certain number of turns or until the shield is completely worn down, which can happen if there's enough damage. Become stronger, become more dexterous, become faster. Can cast Stun Ray, can escape, can cure poison. You know, all these things are good. What about my Goblin Shamans? They've been studying long enough that they're all good with that. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, Keeper, for the time being, you're back on studying. Go study. Do your best, Keeper. Now, we can't see what's happening, but I'm hoping that they're getting very badly hurt and they're starting to run out of their... You know, it's, it's, it's a war of attrition right now. Another imp is killed by... An, oh, no, an imp was killed by an archer a little while ago. That's fine. I can lock these doors, by the way, as well. I'm going to speed things up just a little bit and see how things go. I'm going to let them work their way through because they're getting heavily poisoned. They're having to wait for the poison to dissipate, working through the doors. As they get deeper, the poison will dissipate slower. Right, there they go. My imp had a brief glance. Now they're going to start working through this one. Already some people are wandering off. That's good. They're going to start getting hit by uh, the poison in there. As we can see... Oh, have they have they given up? Really? They're wounded. I think they may have given up. I think they may have actually given up. Wow. That was remarkable. Okay, we don't want to let them go. All right, now's the time. We're, this is possibly a bad move, but uh, I can activate my wolves. All wolves in the same group, please. Control. Need you out there right now. Slaying. Oh dear. No, that is good. They're not. Okay, you're going to mess me up, unfortunately. Okay, pull back. Whole group, pull back. Come back, my wolves. Come back, my wolves. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, there's miasma there now, so it's going to double up on the poison. Miasma is actually super deadly. <laughs> super deadly. If they stood in a miasma cloud for long enough, they will just flat out die. Okay, I'm going to need to control you and hope to goodness you're fast enough to get in here without that archer taking you down at long range. Oh, possible. Yeah, unfortunate. All right, it's going to be you up then. We're still actually doing fairly well with these traps, thankfully. Where are you, archer? Are they fleeing? Damn it. I'll give them a try. They don't want to fight. I'm faster than they are. Good. Go for the archer. There we go. Fantastic. They are losing a lot of people. Oh, dear. Mm. Go on. 
Into the miasma, that's right. You're a little bit worried because you're so badly wounded. But that's good. Because I'm driving you into this poisonous hell corridor. And you'll just die eventually. That's right. Be afraid. You notice they're getting redder and redder and redder. And I'm keeping my wolf where the... Uh, in fact, I can just press space to pass time. Oh, wow. You're almost on the verge of complete death. But you're so heavily wounded now, you don't want to mess with me. And I think one of them just died, which is adding even more to the miasma. Now, the imps are poison resistant. You can make things that are grant the abilities of poison resistance. I think they're just going to die from the poison. I'm just going to sit here. Yep, there we go. Now there's going to be even more miasma just waiting for you. No. There we go. Oh, we got a harpy. There we are. I think... Wow, I really wasn't expecting us to get through that. Now, as long as we've got enough imps, they will very quickly clear us up. But we're going to need more, I think. More imps. Imps are poison immune. Get out there. Clear those corpses into the graveyard with them, please. We lost a couple of wolves. That's fine. We've got a harpy, though, if the harpy survives. She might not. She's having to walk through all of the poison to get through. She may actually die on her way through. But that worked out fantastically. It's costing so much to make the imps, though. But there we go. And the graveyard, again, many undead are actually in... They don't uh, suffer from from poison. Uh, is there anything there? There's an archer corpse. I wouldn't mind you actually going out and fetching that, imps. That went about as well as it could possibly have gone. Uh, and I'm not embarrassed to say that we won there through underhanded tactics. Bio-warfare. I mean, I'm, I'm a dunder keeper. I'm allowed to be evil. It's fine. We also got gold, which is especially good. Now, there are merchants, and certainly amongst the ally places, there are, there are merchants that we can get stuff from. Now, because that's outside my dungeon, my imps would not have gone out there to get it. So I had to specifically tell them, look, I want you outside gathering this stuff. Uh, we've gone through a lot of the woods on this map, though. It's going to get harder and harder to continue to produce this stuff. But for now, I'm I'm willing to continue just gathering and biding my time, building up power. But eventually, that tactic is going to start running out. I need to basically have wiped out the enemy, because they'll continually gather more strength over time. I need to have wiped out the enemy long before I'm running low on wood, because there's no, like, marketplace that I can... Uh, th you know, these are not renewable resources. I would love it if they were, but alas, they are not. Now, that worked so well, I don't want to waste stone yet. Not yet. I do want the stone down here, though, but uh, we'll see. Um, because the worst thing in the world would be if a dragon came along, because it'll just walk through this poison for the most part. Um, they are going to be very unhappy with me, and I'm okay with that. Let's have a look. The bandits are now triggered. Their potential attack triggers are gold, which is good. So, we've got enough gold now that they want to come down here and fight us. Um, so we're going to have regular bandit raids. Um, let's go ahead. I will pop down a boulder trap. They are expensive. They're like a hundred stone. But I'll pop one there. And... Yeah, you know what? I'll pop one there. And if I have to, I'll just dig that bit away. That'll, that'll be fine. Because the boulder will still activate when someone's there or when they step through the door. So it'll still achieve the desired effect. I won't put a boulder there yet. And I won't put one there. Because I'm not entirely sure how long it, it travels for. It can travel for a fair ways, though. But the first time they get activated, we'll use that as, a, as an indicator. All right, so that was actually pretty good. That was that went well. There's some stone down here, but I don't feel like connecting it from internally. Well, maybe I should. Um, but I could also get it from outside, you see. So, yeah, it'll it'll be a bit of a, a swifter trip. But this is not going to ever become a room. Still, I'm going to make it into the shape of the room. But yeah, yeah, not for any particularly good reason. Right. Now, we should have come by some pretty awesome stuff. Now, our harpy we look at her she has archery at a hundred percent she is phenomenally capable when given a bow so now that we've got a, a minion that wants that I'll make a point of getting some uh, archery uh, units uh, some bows and arrows <laughs> archery units we also got a knife off uh, someone I'm not sure who um, how's everything else going We've got that set up. We don't have any prisons yet. 
Well, that's going to take a little bit more effort, but it is worth doing if we can. Um, sure, let's go ahead. We'll set up the prison. I think we'll just have a 3x3 three three prison right there. Uh, we'll have a magic eye in here, just watching over everything in here. And... I will build a torture room over there eventually. But the torture room is, is more of a construction. You just build one, and then, then you're good. So we'll get that going. I'm going to need a little bit more iron now as a result. So let's get into this room. There we are. There we go. Perfect. We've got loads of stone. At this point, we could even start looking at... Uh, Using some stone floors. That would be very nice. Uh, I'm probably going to use gold more for the the carpeting in the in there. But sure, we can put down some some more stone. But a little bit more in the way of graves would be good as well. We want our graveyard to be quite large. That's going to take a lot of stone to do. Right. As for flooring, then let's go ahead and. Um, I'm going to need to remove the flooring first, which is a shame. But uh, sure, we'll get rid of the flooring around the central um, training dummies. Then we're going to place down some very nice stone flooring. Um, you know what? I actually want this type of stone flooring all the way around. I think it just looks better. There we go. And then just to finish off the room, we'll put uh, some, a little bit of cobblestone floor in there. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't really work amazingly well with the wood. I think what I'm going to have to do is remove this flooring around these areas and have the cobbled stone moving in. There we go. Like so. That'll look a lot better. And then we'll have the wooden all along the walls there. That, that seems to make sense to me. Okay, in here, uh, I'm not under any, in any great rush to set that area up uh, with with flooring. It would be very nice, but I don't have enough stone really to do that yet. That is going to be very useful, though. Now, next up, we're going to do the same over here. And I'm going to preempt it and place some stone flooring along all of these walls. Get that in place. There we go. And that will help with the efficiency there. I'm possibly not going to end up reinforcing the walls. It's unfortunate, but uh, I don't think I'm going to have the means to do so without wasting a lot of resources that I'd rather not waste. Uh, we'll also get rid of these. And we'll just have this little central area be our equipment stockpile. Eventually, I'll set up another equipment stockpile, I'm sure. But for now, this is our workshop slash equipment stockpile. So that'll that'll do okay in there. I'm quite liking that room actually. Now then, how are we doing for archery? I think it's only a 100 mana purchase, which it is fantastic. Now archery, you make the short bows over here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to make 10 of these because everyone can equip them. It's just the harpy is going to be significantly better at it, and then we will make uh, let's make 20 of the arrows as well um actually no 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 sorry uh 20 arrows is 50 wood so we'll go ahead and we'll make we'll make 300 arrows that's gonna keep them busy for quite a long while uh, in fact that's gonna keep them busy so long i may actually put another <laughs> another workshop over here let's go ahead and do that let's uh build another workshop because there's only only wood this one and we can just place it over there and it's just gonna mean that there's more people who are gonna be able to work on it at a time Right, we've got a reasonable bit of gold there, but we always want more. More gold is always better. So let's go ahead and dig a tunnel all the way up to this gold right up the top here. Um, actually, we'll connect to it from the bottom, because then we can have a little oval shape. As you've noticed, I'm quite fond of that. Right, we may be attacked again in the not too distant future we did lose a couple of wolves oh well, that's a bit of a shame but we gained a lot more from that we've got quite a few low level 
actually no. The low level orcs from this team, you can leave for now. Uh, I don't want you in the team with us. Uh, we'll just keep the high levels, but I will be bringing the harpy from now on. The harpy's going to have to level up very, very fast. But hopefully, once she's got her... Uh, because she's flying as well, uh, once she's got her bow, she's going to be quite a force to contend with. It's going to be very, very good. Right, let's have a quick gander. In fact, I'm going to turn the speed up slightly. We're still making the chain armor, and then we're going to be working on the boots. Then we're going to be in a fairly good position to actually start going out and hunting. I'm very glad with the way that went, actually. Very glad. Though, that being said, we are now at a position where... 13 of our population are humanoids who can wear armor. That's not so great. Uh, I guess some of them are just going to have to wear the, the low grade, though. I could make a point of going through the groups. Making sure that every person has the best. I would like you to lock the Iron Helm. Lock the sword. What else? You've got a sword. Lock it. Lock the chain as well. I don't want. I don't want anyone to be able to claim this off you. Basically, um, this is good. Let's get you set up. There we are. You've got. You've got plus six chain. Wow, that is very very nice. Someone basically they were very good when they made that. They had some good rolls, and they made some really really good stuff. Right there we go. So we've got. All of this set. I would like you to drop that, and then I want you to go and take the plus 10 um, from one of my level 12 orcs. And then once you've got that, I want it to be locked. I don't mind so much someone else taking that off you, though, because swording isn't your thing. Your particular skills are in archery, so I really want you to have that. But I definitely want... The, can I can I just like give you all of them? No, I have to tell you to do it slowly. <laughs> uh, but go and grab all of those arrows of whoever has them at the moment. Oh no, really? That is annoying. I thought I'd be able to lock them, but no. Oh well, I'll just tell you to uh, go and pick them off off the floor because the orc dropped them beautifully when I said yes. Those are no longer yours. But there we go. That way, my harpy is properly set up. Right, I would like... Kara, uh, can you grab the Potion of Blindness off the Keeper, please? There we go. All right. That... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you have a 11 bow? You know what? I'm going to actually let you have that. I will actually let you have that one. Uh, because you are basically the leader of that group. You deserve something to show your station. Okay, now now that we've got this, it's going to be quite funny when we can uh, send people in there to be tortured horribly. Um, how's the gold going? We've already got all of that gold. We're up to 1,414 gold. Happy days are here. Let's go ahead and first and foremost... I'm going to leave the, uh, car the wood there, but... All around here, I want carpets. Um, we will have blue carpets there. Now, these cost a lot of money, but they are the best floor for the adjacency bonus. Uh, red carpets going around. Uh, red carpet there as well. And it does look like we're going to have plenty of money to do all of this. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of that. And continue on with the carpeting. Now, I'm going to bring that up there. We'll have blue carpets in between these. Oh, this is really starting to make this place look pretty cool, actually. Right, let's have a quick gander. What's the efficiency? The efficiency is actually quite high. But next, we want to remove the floors underneath them all. There we go. Eventually, we'll also want to deconstruct them and Oh, we're being attacked by those same humans again. Those scallywags. Um, we've got enough gold that we can we can just go ahead and, and place the blue carpeting underneath them. All that's fine. Oh, I haven't moved that one yet. There we go. Now, it has paused, thankfully, so I can just go ahead and get this done now. Uh, we'll have blue carpeting underneath there. I'm actually going to increase 
the amount of library bookshelves in here as well. Sure. Actually, no, let, let's not do that. We'll probably have some statues up there instead. I think that'll look much better. Uh, we'll do... Yeah, we'll leave it at, at that for now. I think that's enough for us. Right, okay, so... There they are, just down there. Now, exactly the same thing's going to happen, hopefully. But we've now got the added bonus of boulder traps. Before we do anything, though, let me quickly grab someone. Harpy, can I control you for a second? Can you slide past it? Yes, you can, which is fine. That's all I wanted to check, was that that worked. Okay, so they're sending out another big gold group. We'll probably get a bunch more gold. And hopefully some armor. Um, they've got a decent amount of archers. Level 16 knights. Scallywax. That's not good. That's not good at all. What level are our units at this point? What are our orcs at? Uh, 13s. That's not too, too bad. 34s, 32s. That's comparable, actually. Not quite on their attack, but certainly on their defense, it's not too bad. Okay, well, uh, it's going to be a case of a letting time pass. I'm going to allow my um, imps to work in there. We've got enough to... Well, we could get jewelry or alchemy. Alchemy would be very good simply because we would then be able to set up um, potions. So people could throw potions of blindness, potions of sleep at their opponents. But really, I need that master sorcery so bad. Because once we get that, the power of our spellcasters goes up so, so drastically. However, I have unfortunately noticed the time. So we're going to have to find out how this fight goes in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one and are enjoying the series as a whole. Uh, that is going to be all from me. So remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't. But until next time, do take care.